Hello, welcome to my first talk, Sakino on Sunday. I'm very excited about this endeavor, this adventure even. And today I would like to talk to you about family constellations. Now, family constellations, I have been doing this for more than 20 years now. And it came into my life at a time where I thought and felt that the kind of therapy I was doing until then had come to a closure. It didn't feel right anymore to work in that way that I had worked. And basically that had been a, a lot of emotional release and screaming and primal therapy and all kinds of things. Um, and I had done that for many, many years. And somehow it came to a point where I felt it's complete. It's, yeah, complete. So, and at that point, I got introduced to a man called Bert Hellinger by a colleague. And uh, he said, well, maybe that might interest you because you are a family therapist. I had studied systemic therapy, the Virginia Satya approach uh, in the 80s. So I was very well trained in systemic therapy. And he said, uh, you might want to listen to or watch a video with Bert Hellinger and you might want to uh, get to know him. So I watched that video and immediately I was so fascinated. So what I did, as I am a very spontaneous person usually, uh, I went uh, and booked a workshop with Bert. And in this first workshop, I was just sitting there in the audience. At that time, he was already giving these big seminars with hundreds of people and I was sitting in the audience and I was just crying myself through the three days of the seminar. It was so touching and something inside of me felt this is what I want to do. And so that's what I did. I started studying with Bert uh, in the way that it was possible at that time, which was just sitting in his seminars and learning from watching him doing what he did, trying to see what he sees and, and learning from there. And um, it was, for me, it was a revelation. It was really, it was so beautiful to watch and see things happening. I mean, there were things that I didn't agree with, but in, in, in the long, I mean, in general, it was exactly what I wanted to do. So I implemented it into my work slowly, step by step. And uh, since then, it has been one of the basic techniques that I'm using. Now, what is it actually? And very often people ask me, what is it? What happens in a family constellation? Well, nobody can really explain what happens. It's, it's, it's a miracle. It's a mystery, really. But what I can say is, in a group, people are chosen to be representatives of family members, like the father, the mother, the daughter, the son, or whatever, or other um, members uh, of systems. And the moment someone gets chosen and agrees to take the role, they feel like the person they are representing. And this is often something that people, of course, cannot understand if they haven't experienced it. And there is no way to really explain it. The closest to an explanation uh, is, in my opinion, uh, the approach of uh, Rupert Sheldrake, uh, who, who was working and still is working on um, researching morphogenetic fields, which are the, the, the fields that connect members of a species with each other and even beyond species. He studied those things uh, with, with humans and their dogs and their pets. So um, this is what I see what happens when, when we are chosen in a role we are taken into the field of that person 
and their family and we somehow get all the knowledge of that person like we feel their feelings we have body sensations that are similar to the body sensations of that person and uh, but we don't have like in norm in real life we don't have the um, social um, behavior patterns and needs so being in that role we we are like a pure vessel to feel and perceive and yeah feel and perceive what that person feels so in a constellation people are chosen into roles of family members and then the client i call them client the the, the one who is working on their family system um, um, puts them in relation to each other according to what they feel in that moment and then when that's all set up the client can sit down and can relax basically and then the facilitator uh, will work with that system and ask particular questions how do you feel in this place and when this whole setup is unfolding uh, we very often can see dynamics within a family system that have been hidden. Like for instance, uh, someone is feeling feelings that don't make any sense um, uh, related to their own life. And very often their feelings we see uh, have been taken on from a family member, even one, two or three generations before, like unresolved issues, unresolved problems uh, that haven't been solved in the time with that person, her or himself. And then later, a family member uh, takes that on. And that explains a lot of suffering. We call this effect transgenerational uh, transfer of trauma, for instance. So the family constellations, they uncover those hidden dynamics. And, um, and uh, very often uh, with that uncovering, we can find good solutions so that the, the person who is suffering from an issue like a physical issue or a behavior issue or from depression or whatever, uh, can free themselves from that burden that they have been carrying from generations before. We have seen that uh, a lot in families of Holocaust survivors, uh, that um, the children of the Holocaust survivors and even the grandchildren are carrying uh, in their dreams the, the, the wounds of their ancestors, like having nightmares of, uh, uh, let's say they are suffocating, they can't breathe, or they, they, they have fears that are not their own. And um, with a family constellation, we can very often help the person to release those feelings that don't belong to them. Well, I don't want to go into too many details here because there are so many ways to resolve that. But um, there are rituals that you can do. There, like giving back and things like that. So um, there are many, many, many ways to work with that. But for me, it's a, a really it's an almost magical uh, instrument that I have been using now for more than twenty years, and it's just fascinating to see the transformation in people when they have done a family constellation and and afterwards someone calls me and says, you know what, my father who hasn't talked with me in 20 years called me yesterday after the constellation for the first time and we are going to meet. And it always gives me goosebumps when this is happening. And this is not a one-time one thing that's happening. It's happening many times that people afterwards tell me uh, what happened in their life after a constellation. And also, 
uh, as as I said in the beginning, the as we are we are diving into a field of knowledge uh, of a system of a family, we are healing inside that field and the other members of that field of the family who are not even present in the room in the constellation it also affects them and that's why things like that can happen that someone calls after a constellation or uh, let's say in, in in a relationship that um yeah, that the partners uh, are, are dealing differently with conflicts they have after constellation. So, um, and also I have seen healings happen when someone is sick and has a disease and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't heal. And when the constellation is going well, uh, healing is supported. It's not that I'm promising anything. It's not, we cannot do that because that would be uh, unethical to do. But I have seen healing happen. And I trust that this process of family constellation is in fact support, a support for healing. Besides that, uh, what, I, what I always feel is that when in a group situation, uh, family constellations are done, it also connects the members of the group in a beautiful way. Uh, even after a day, I do these one day workshops sometimes, and uh, even after a day, uh, people come closer to each other because they have seen and participated in each other's uh, family systems. Um, it's also possible to do it in individual sessions, of course, with with different uh, uh, with different instruments and 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 uh, earth anchors and pillows and chairs and all kinds of things. Uh, but for me, the most effective way to work with it is in groups, because not only because uh, you have representatives, but also the the the, the group field is a healing field. So the, the group is holding a space for someone and that supports the, the process of that person. Well, you can see I'm, I'm very, very enthusiastic about family constellations and it has become, as I said, the basic, <laughs> basic um, tool I'm working with, besides other tools, of course. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm, I'm very happy to talk to you. I'm very happy to, to um, yeah, ask, answer your questions if I can and uh, in any way getting in touch with you. Thank you so much for listening and viewing my first um, Sakino on Sunday video. More will follow. Have a wonderful week. Bye.